7. Time for 7 First Alert Weather. It's been fantastic weather for this first day of fall and amazing for all those other activities that we've had outside. You can see the view from Sun Valley all through the afternoon. Hardly a cloud in the sky, so really nice day to kick off the fall season. We had warmer temperatures for valley spots in the upper 70s. In the mountains, we were in the 60s and lower 70s towards Magic Valley spots. And we are expecting to continue a warming trend through Monday, so temperatures will be staying on the warm side. However, once we get to Tuesday, we expect cooler temperatures and they will continue to cool as we go into next week. And that's going to be because of a cold front and we will start to feel that cold front on Monday with some winds as it starts to move in. So Monday afternoon to the evening, we do have a fire weather watch in place because we could see gusts up to 40 miles an hour. And that just means that the weather conditions are right to help a fire spread very quickly if one does start in that area. So. We have a high pressure ridge right now that's leading to this warm up and you can see off on the horizon is that low pressure center and the cold front that's going to continue to make its way inland. But for now we have this high pressure in place all the way through Monday and then you can see on Tuesday some of those colder changes starting to take place. This system is also bringing a good amount of moisture with it as it in the form of an atmospheric river and we have seen some of those rain totals on co in coastal Oregon and coastal Washington near about one inch. I saw some that were 0.75 up to 0.8 inches and you can see those were that's where those showers are right now. And so as we go into tomorrow, a lot of that moisture and clouds will continue to make its way inland. So we have a chance of seeing some very light showers over in the McCall and West Central Mountain areas. I think it would really add up to a sprinkle. I don't think it'll be too much, but a little bit more of a higher likelihood towards Eastern Oregon. And that is going to continue to be the pattern as we look forward for Monday as well, where we see the majority of that activity in the Western Central Mountains and Eastern Oregon. But again, staying on the light side, that is until we go into the later part of the week where we see those temperatures drop and then it's not rain chances we're talking about. I think we could see some flurries in the morning snow flurries because we have those temperatures below freezing for the lows at the end of the week. But that's again in the future down the down the line for next week. Let's not get too far ahead and let's talk about more about tomorrow. Again, we are expecting a little bit more cloud cover and for Magic Valley spots that will be partly cloudy skies. Similarly, over in the central mountain areas where we'll see those highs in the 60s. West Central Mountain spots will see a little bit more of that cloud cover. And again, I think we could see about a sprinkle towards the McCall area and in Eastern Oregon spots. And then in Valley locations will be staying on the drier side. However, we do expect more cloud cover. So as I mentioned, that warming trend continues into Monday. We have those breezy conditions as well. And then Tuesday, we start to see cooler conditions. And by the end of the week, we'll be in the 60s for our highs. All right. Thanks, Sophia.